Lifting up Jesus and opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, the United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. First of all, the text of Revelation chapter 20 makes it very clear that it's speaking of two categories of believers. Looking at verse 4, the souls who had been beheaded because of their testimony of Jesus and because of the word of God, that's the first category. And the second, and those who had not worshipped the beast or his image. That is focused on those believers at that particular time in the context of those events at the end of the age the book of Revelation is speaking to. We cannot take it as a general statement beyond that. To go beyond that, we have to look to Paul. Remember, we always interpret other scripture in light of the epistles. Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians that the dead in Christ rise first. At the same time as the rapture, simultaneous with the rapture, there's a resurrection of the righteous. These people return with Jesus together with the raptured church and establish the millennial kingdom. You can't just base a theology of who's going to be here in the millennium on Revelation chapter 20 because it is only speaking about who's going to be here during the millennium concerning those people at the end of the age. It doesn't deal with the others talking about who is going to be here. We have to look to the epistles to find that, and Paul tells us directly, no, everyone who died faithful to Christ will go reign with him on the earth during the millennial reign. My name is Jacob Prash. Thank you so much for your question. God bless.